This question is what happens if I do allow the copper levels in my pool to get too high? And the answer, is, once again, the answer is um, that should not happen if you're following the protocols of setting it down to 25%, finding your maintenance range, and then testing weekly. Um, that should not happen. However, crazy things happen in life, and we understand that. Um, if, on the off chance, that does happen to you, um, basically, you, I want you to keep in mind that you can have four times the recommended amount of copper in your water, and it's still within safe uh, drinking standards. So, um, you know, I don't want you to feel like because it's three times higher that there's something unhealthy about the water because that's not the case. Uh, but if that does happen, um, you can turn the ionization completely off. You can literally just power off the ionization on the system so that it um, stops generating uh, copper ions and you can just let the copper ions um, dissipate naturally through backwashing and things like that. Um, you can also um, empty out, uh, you know, six inches of water and then refill the six inches of pool water to offset the ratios um, and lower the copper level that way. Um, but generally speaking, too much copper should not happen um, as long as you're following the simple rules that come with the system. And that's it.